One of my favorite ways to initiate the inside fight is by bumping in, sometimes referred to as the slip and slide or the slip and bump or just slipping in. This technique involves getting outside and under your opponent's attack line in order to close the gap and initiate that inside fight with strong shoulder pressure as you bump into the opponent with your lead shoulder. This is one of the first techniques that I'll show boxers trying to learn how to fight on the inside for a few reasons. First off, it's a logical starting point for your inside fighting journey because in order to fight on the inside, you need to get inside. And this entry gets you there in a relatively safe way. Bumping in is also very beginner friendly. It really only involves two basic techniques. So if you can slip to the outside and step forward, you're nearly there. You just need the understanding and a few basic adjustments and you'll be ready to use this entry yourself. This entry is also relatively low risk. So as with anything, there's a chance you can be read or timed or run into something as you attempt it. But compared to some other more committal, face first, hard charging entries, this one is pretty safe. Against an orthodox opponent, the slip takes you outside and under the jab hand and far enough away from their rear hand that any attack from that side will be readable. This technique also won't commit you up front so that your opponent will have a very tough time running you into something off that initial slip motion. If you slip and the opponent shows you something you don't like, you always have the option of bailing out or using that slip position to launch some offense. And that ties into another reason I love teaching this move up front, which is that the slip leaves you with great follow-up options and setup potential. Like with any other outside slip, this technique loads your back hip and puts you in a low position with great leverage, which can be used for offense or for step shuffles, if you saw our previous video, or feints or whatever else you like. The options are there. Another great reason to start with this entry is because, as we'll see in the next section, bumping in puts you exactly in the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder position that we want to initiate our inside fighting game. Lastly, the act of bumping and getting physical with that shoulder contact gets beginners comfortable with that rough and tumble inside fighting mentality that you're going to need to make this work. Now you know why I teach bumping in up front, so let's talk technique. Bumping in breaks down into two steps. Step one is the slip, and step two is the bump itself, where we step forward or slide in with the same head slot we created in part one to bump into our opponent, initiating that strong shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact. With this variation, we're using an outside slip, which puts your head over the back hip, placing it outside the opponent's jab hand underneath some of their strongest attack lines and far away from the cross. Like any other slip, this is a whole body movement, which means the heels, knees, hips, torso, and shoulders need to rotate together in order to move your head to its new position. What makes this movement slightly different from your conventional outside slip is that there's a little more emphasis on a level change. Unlike a conventional slip where you're trying to make your opponent just miss, this movement is really about getting you down a level to what I call the bottom shelf of your head movement slots. Getting down on that bottom shelf not only keeps you safer from your opponent's offense, but it gives you a lot more leverage to work with once you get inside and start getting physical. As with any other slip, you have the option to step but this should not be a default move. Even though this entry is typically used to close the gap, programming yourself to step in with every slip is a major liability. So while you may step the lead foot towards the opponent as your head moves towards your back hip, you don't have to. And whether you do step the front foot or not, make sure you leave your head and back foot back. You do not cover ground with them yet. Again, for safety reasons, and also to stop all your offensive options from being smothered in case you want to abort and go to those at any point. Another reason you may choose not to step with that slip, even when you're using what is traditionally an inside fighting entry, is to stand your ground against a hard charging inside fighter. In this instance, Diego Corrales does not want to fall back, but he also doesn't want to give up that low, high leverage position to Castillo. So instead of allowing Castillo to set up this strong shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder position, Corrales meets him down there in the trenches, bumping in with no step on his slip to engage Castillo from a strong inside position. The last point I'd like to make about this slip is that it never has to be naked. That is to say, you can always combine other techniques that give you the same slipping mechanics. 
For example, here we see Corrales using a parry in combination with a slip, which is a great move because the parry effectively covers that jab lane, which allows you to safely move across it with your head as you slip. And remember, almost any committed punch with the lead hand should take your head over the rear hip, and thus can be combined with a slipping motion. Whether you chose to step or not in part one, the slip took you over the back hip and onto the bottom shelf, placing you outside and underneath your opponent's attack lines and ready to bump in. If you did step the lead foot forward on the slip, like Castillo does here, now's the time to slide forward with the head and back foot. Stay low for leverage. Think about being a bulldozer as you bring your body mass forward and commit the weight in letting your shoulder slam into the opponent. If you did not step forward with the lead foot during the slip, now's the time to drive off the back foot and step both feet forward in a basic footwork forward stepping style, keeping low and bumping or sticking with the shoulder just the same. This concludes our introduction to bumping into a shoulder to shoulder position, but don't worry, this is just part one of a two part series. In the next part, coming soon, we'll be covering how to attack to the left or to the right from this powerful inside position, as well as how to counter opponents trying to bump in on you when you want to maintain your range. I'll also be including some home training options that you can use to come out of quarantine a better boxer than ever. If this video helped you, please give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more boxing videos just like this, including part two of our Inside Fighting series coming soon. I've been blown away by the comments, discussion, and feedback on our YouTube channel, so please keep that coming, and as always, stay safe.